This is a battle in round 2 of the blue tournament between Attila the Great and Trollybully of the TWR clan. Attila is commanding Averni and Trollybully is commanding Talus. There are max 8 swords allowable or allowed in this tournament. The map is Alexandria, a good map for infantry. Both factions are going to be penalized equally uh, due to the heat present on the map. So, for Trollibully, <laughs> 5 levy freemen, very nice. Then we have a total of 4 Oathsorn, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 Tribal Warriors. He also has 4 Raiding Horsemen, because why wouldn't you? Raiding Horsemen are awesome units. Less effective on this map than on open maps, but still can be very useful in the late game. And Tylus doesn't really have any good infantry options, so uh, or sorry, any good cavalry options. So they kind of have to go with the raiding horse. They are certainly much more cost effective than Celtic uh, than the light horse. And here we're starting to see some of Attila's army. He has heavy horse, of course, four heavy horse on each side. In the center, he has his two chosen swords. Uh, two chosen swords on the flanks, and that means he has a strong center of Oathsorn and Verkingetrix for Oathsorn. A few Levy Freemen. I think the Levy Freeman advantage goes to Trollibully, which potentially could be very important against these Heavy Horse units. Uh, heavy Horse has already taken five casualties from these uh, Braiding Horsemen, and that just shows you how deadly they can be. This is even in a forest. But they're firing into the unshielded side, and their bonus against Norge is deadly. Just Wow, I, I didn't expect to see them do this amount of damage in the forest. Already losing 15 men on his one of his most important units. Almost down 20 men on this heavy horse unit. These raiding horse can be great for stuff like this in the opening stages of the battle. Um, the same in the later stages, so at zero cost to Trollibully, he's taken out now almost 20 heavy horse. And these heavy horse, if they get hit by a single volley from Levy Freeman, they're going to be gone. So both players are keeping a respectful distance of each other. Um, the one advantage that Averni has over Tylus will be the heavy horse. In everything else, Tylus can either match or outperform Averni, especially when it comes to mid-tier sword units. The mid-tier swords, the chosen swords, not very good for their price. Very nice volley here incoming from the Levy Freeman. Uh, but 37 kills on the Raiding Horseman. I don't think I've seen Raiding Horse kill a uh, Heavy Horse this quickly in a forest before. That was, that was some serious killing. So... What Attila needs to do in order to win this is to get cavalry charges off, either frontally or from the rear against these units, because in a straight up fight he loses. If he can use his cavalry well, then he's going to have a better chance, but he's already lost, wow, 22 men in this heavy horse unit. He's already lost almost an entire heavy horse unit to the very cheap raiding horse of uh, Tylus, so not a good start for Attila, I mean, a very good start for Trollibully. Trollibully is moving up now. Attila is going to be mirroring his lines, sending in some Levy Freeman to do a bit of damage. But he is sort of out of position here, I don't think Trollibully wants to engage here. Going... Uh, turning towards the flanks of Attila is a good idea, because Attila's center is strong, while his flanks are very weak. So if Trollibully is able to just defeat the flanks, then the Oathsorn unsupported are going to get absolutely smashed. I quite like how aggressive Trollibully is being with his raiding horse here, not allowing the heavy horse to rest, and then doing a lot of damage with the javelins. Here we have a cheeky little Levy Freeman running about, maybe trying to bait some javelins. Protecting his flanks with the Levy Freeman and then just turning the turning his center over to match uh, Attila's center. 
quite like how he has positioned his levy freemen here. They're going to be able to stop cavalry charges and infantry charges. So levy freemen on levy freemen. Uh, these raiding horse might be out of ammunition and I actually like what Trolleyball is doing here in charging the levy freemen because this is going to allow the levy freemen of uh, Trolleybully to do so much better. Uh, sending in a unit of tribals here just to wrap around both of these chosen swords, get the most out of his charge bonus. Uh, the chosen swords did not get a great charge, but the tribals up against this many chosen are not going to do well. Straight up charge, Oathsorn against Oathsorn in the center. Uh, let's see. Ooh, the Oathsorn of uh, Attila for some reason. Maybe I had taken damage, I don't know. But he does significantly worse here. Here we have Oathsorn being charged by Heavy Horse using Frenzy Charge right away. That's going to fatigue them significantly. They are being chased by Raiding Horsemen. Four Raiding Horsemen chasing around. And actually managing to get into them here. I don't know if that was intentional or not. The tribe was just routed off the field because they were uh, attacked in the rear for some reason. Maybe they activated shield wall and turned around. That is the only reason I can see them getting charged in the rear here. And here we have the shield wall forming. Let's see if the shield wall forms the correct way. We can check afterwards. But it does definitely look like there are some shenanigans happening here. Uh, the heavy horse should do well against raiding horsemen, but uh, sending in the levy freeman and the oath zone is just going to finish off the heavy horse of uh, of Attila. So he hasn't been able to use his heavy horse to good effect. And in the center, he's doing reasonably well actually. Uh, since these guys are in shield, uh, well, are they in shield wall? No, they're not. But Trolleyball is going to pull out his oath zone without much cost anyway, because the tribal warriors are fighting there. Uh, this old zone in the center is just just getting smashed and indeed it did push forward and form up the shield wall uh, So that it got surrounded so a bit buggy there This uh, heavy horse getting attacked by raiding horse and somehow these raiding horsemen are still alive still doing damage to the heavy horse just holding them there after they've done so much damage with their javelins. It's a pretty good idea by Trolleybully. Uh, Teller's winning in the center here with his general. And that's it. On the flanks here he's doing super well. Only Levy Freeman left alive really for uh, Trolleybully. And Trolleybully's general is not in a good position right now. He's going to get rear charged by the general of Trolleybully while he is engaged against Chosen Swords. He's activating his shield wall, but that's not going to help him a lot. He's getting rear charged and ganged up on. This is not good for him at all. In the forest, these raiding horse together with the Levy Freeman are able to defeat Heavy Horse. The Heavy Horse is exhausted now. And here we have Oathstorm chasing after Heavy Horse as well. In the forest, they might be able to catch them. Um, these raiding horsemen are going down. They got charged by heavy horse. This heavy horse wavering. Uh, Attila is just cleaning up on this side. And there's quite a lot of Arverni left on the field now, actually. Oathsorn charging into the Chosen Swords. The Chosen Swords should just break here. And when this blob here breaks, a very heroic last stand here by the general of... Uh, of Trolleybully, even though he's attacked in the rear, he's just continuing to rack up the kills. While in the forest, I have to say, uh, Trolleybully's forces are absolutely cleaning up. Having the heavy horse in the forest was probably a mistake. Now Levy Freeman are going to start throwing their javelins into the backs of the Oathstone General of, uh, of Attila. And he's being kited away by Levy Freeman. In this center here, Trolleybully's units should be able to defeat these Oathstone. And I believe all of Attila's units are now either very tired or exhausted. So that is super bad for him. He doesn't have a strategist general. He can't refresh his units like Trolleybully can. And what looked really bad for Trolleybully there for a moment has actually turned into a situation where his fre fresh Oathstone general is just tanking up the kills. And the exhausted Oathstone general of, uh, of Attila is no match for him. So, I mean, a strategist, very safe choice. Um, but I think mainly what 
losing that many heavy horse in the beginning for Attila and then not being able to use the heavy horse late game or when the engagement started was disastrous. So very similar in terms of kills, but uh, Attila brought such a small elite force for Arverni and of course he didn't have as many levy freemen as, um, as Trolley Bully did. Good game to both players. Good luck in the coming rounds of the tournament to Trolley Bully. Strength and honor.